Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a fun one because I really didn't feel like doing a whole bunch of cleaning today. I did know that I had a little list that I had given myself earlier in the week of things that I wanted to get done. So this is just going to be like a midweek to do challenge. I hope you guys are joining along and doing some things that you felt like you needed to get done this week. I've just got a handful of stuff. I didn't want to overwhelm myself, but then again, I also wanted to make sure that I was getting something done during the week. So I'm so glad that you guys are here. Let's just go ahead and jump right in. So in the beginning clips of this video, I kind of showed you a few things, but I really didn't tell you guys what I was going to be doing in this video today. So like I said, I just had a handful of things that I knew that I wanted to get done this week because it's just been bothering me and I honestly just didn't have the time. So I wanted to make the time today and do this. And one of the things was to repot these plants. You guys know I do not have a green thumb, but I just keep on trying. And I feel like if you just keep on trying, eventually one day you're just going to get it, right? So I knew that I think a few of these pots just probably needed some more soil because I didn't really pack them down when I potted them the first time. And the little one there in the terracotta pot, that tiny one, she's just not going to make it. And I've tried everything possible, but every day the leaves just fall off and I'm like, mm, okay. So I got something to replace that one and I also got a new one. So I'm just going to go ahead and make sure these have enough soil and water and they're down in there good and tight. And I just know that my stepmom Liz is watching this right now and shuddering at the sight of me doing this to these plants, but I'm just trying y'all. I really am. And they really do make me happy as long as they can, you know, stay alive, but we're going to try. We're going to try. So another reason why I kind of wanted to do this video, not only because I needed to get this stuff done, but I just feel like sometimes cleaning videos really get monotonous. And I know that people just don't want to come back and watch me clean the same rooms the same way and the same video every single time. So I just wanted to switch it up a little bit. It still has cleaning in it and, you know, just that little bit of homemaking that we do on a daily basis at our home. And I hope you guys enjoy it. If you like the little bit of switch up, definitely let me know because I'm going to be straight up honest with you. I'm getting bored and I know you guys are too. And I don't want you guys to leave because you don't want to be watching the videos that I put out. And we all make videos this way. I mean, I think we all kind of just get in that slump and we put so much hard work and time into this and I just want it to be enjoyable for you guys. So I thought that I would just kind of switch things up this week and give you a little bit of a to-do list. So I want you guys to tell me in the comments if you've got some things on your to-do list that you have not tackled yet. Maybe it's something that I haven't thought of that I need to do at my house too. I'm always curious to see what you guys are doing. I know you guys talk to me in the comments and I absolutely love that. So thank you again for supporting everything that I do here on this channel, but I just kind of felt like switching it up today.
So the next thing on my list was to get in my laundry area and just get everything wiped down. It just gets so dusty with the lint and the dirt and everything. And not to mention it's right there by my back door. So everything that is like trash wise, like big trash, like boxes. And you saw Bodie's food bag up there. We just kind of lay it on there just to remind us that when we go out the back door, we just take it to the trash. So it just gets kind of nasty back there. So I wanted to give it a good wipe down. I also took out this detergent drawer. If you guys did not know that it comes out those two little buttons on the side just push them down it'll pop right out and these things get uh, disgusting so I wanted to give it a good scrub while I had it out and then I also wanted to tackle that bottom shelf I just feel like it's everything else like in this house if I just need somewhere to put it I'll just throw it up there on that shelf and I'm really trying to get better about just putting things where they need to go so I'm going to take everything off of that shelf I'm going to give it a wipe down it's dusty it's got detergent on it you know all that nasty stuff and just put things where they need to be like my tea kettle my you know hot water thing right there and my creamer all that's going to go in the closet where my bigger items are and just really keep this back here for detergent so you're going to see how disgusting it is. I'm just going to get everything wiped down and I'm going to combine some things and I'm going to get some things put in the trash. That way it just looks a little bit more normal. And again, I think I've said this a thousand times, but this is not like a show home. <laughs> like it's not perfect. You're not going to see a whole bunch of labeled, you know, beautiful containers of things here and there that is just it's it's beautiful and I love it and I might have some things like that but that's just not practical for my house everything just needs to be able to be used and you know clean and nice and in the spot that it's supposed to be in so this was definitely another spot of my house that I just wanted to take a few minutes and get cleaned up today
So the last thing that I wanted to do on this list was tackle this spare room slash office of mine. You guys know that this room is particularly a thorn in my side, but I will say I have done pretty well at keeping this clean and decluttered from the last time that I did that. If you guys did not see that video, I'll have it linked in the cards above, but I really do try to keep this as clean as possible. It's just a catch-all, and I had a whole bunch of stuff in here when I was going through things to get ready for that yard sale. So I needed to make sure that I just got everything picked back up and there's a huge stack of all those blankets and sheets and things still in that corner. I have yet to go through that to see what I wanted to keep and what I wanted to donate. So what I did was just make sure that it was all stacked up just a little bit nicer. That's definitely going to be on my next list of to do's. And also I have this huge pile of mail that I hadn't gone through in a couple of weeks, which is horrible. I know, but I just, I set everything over there and then and it takes me like a week or so to go through it and it's mostly just junk if I see something once I get it out of the mailbox like a bill or something important then I'll do something with it but everything else I'll just kind of set to the side and go through it later and this was definitely later and it needed to be done so I just wanted to take a couple minutes and get it all nice and cleaned up That is the end of my to-do list for today. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video and this little switch up of content. If you did like it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And I really do hope that it helped you get to your to-do list today. But again, I appreciate you guys coming back today and watching and supporting me. I'm going to go ahead and go. I love you and appreciate you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hey, I think you're pretty.